Let's move on to our top news headline this morning. Graphic body camera footage shows the moment a Las Cruces police officer fired his weapon, killing 45 year old Teresa Gomez earlier this month. The family of Gomez is now speaking out. Our KTSM 9 news reporter Shelby Cap has more. We do first want to warn you viewer discretion is strongly encouraged. What you're about to watch will likely be troubling. You will see things that are hard to watch and hear the officer speak in a way that is difficult to listen to. I strongly suggest viewer discretion. Stop! Stop! <laughs> shots fired! Shots fired! Las Cruces Police Department body camera footage shows the officer approaching a car with two people inside. In the video, you can see the passenger pull a paintball gun out of his waist, but the officer asked only the driver, Teresa Gomez, to get out. Once Gomez is out of the vehicle, she is reluctant to give the officer her full name. Again, what is Yes, what's your name? Gomez asks to get back in the vehicle while the officer takes down information. The officer agrees, but Gomez then starts the vehicle and begins to back up, and that's when shots are fired. The interim police chief asked about the protocol when it comes to shooting at a person who is fleeing. The protocol is, is a deceptive term because, unfortunately, the world we live in is very complex, and when you change one factor, that can change the decision and the, the reasonableness of a decision. Um, generally speaking, officers use deadly force to prevent someone who's fleeing when that person poses a significant threat of death or serious bodily harm to the officers or others that's ongoing. The family of Teresa Gomez sending pictures of her and a statement that reads in part, quote, the tragedy of her unnecessary violent death at the hands of a poorly trained police officer will cause suffering to her loved ones for the remainder of their lives. Shots fired, shots fired. And that was Shelby Cap with the story. In the meantime, the Las Cruces Police Department would not provide the name of the officer, but they do say he has been placed on administrative leave, emphasizing that the shooting is still under investigation.